basically said we're going to put the fear of God in the black slaves, basically using this technique of separating, divide, like the light versus the dark, the old versus the young, you know what I'm Man saying? Man versus Man women. Man versus woman. Whatever division tactic you can do and get them confused, then you can come in and implement your plan, which they basically did. So they implement the fear of God. They used to say that, that stuff like they used to put the black man in between um, four, four horses, horses and yeah. stretch them out and to dismember him. Yeah. Tear his legs and arms right before horses. Right in right front of his family, you know, his kids, mm -hmm. his wife. Mm -hmm. Right there. Just uh, to show like a sign of weakness, like yeah, we'll it, destroy this nigga at any given moment and you can't do a goddamn same, thing about it. And at the same time, think about it. Now what's that's going to do as a jet and, and a female over watching this shit, a father, you're going to get scared as fuck. Yep. They basically send you a message like, we got the strongest one out your nation, your, your head, your god head, and rip this ass apart in front of you. Like you don't want to fuck with us. We'll tear your ass apart. And as the mother watching, she telling the child right there too, like, man, just stay in line. We don't want to end up like this, man. Just listen to the crackers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can clearly see because um, niggas is hard as fuck around each other, like I said, but they ain't going to do nothing against the cracker. You know what I'm saying? Niggas even be feeling shame in front of them crackers when they act a certain way. Yeah. Talk, so don't act like that in front of the white people. Man, what yeah. the fuck you talking fuck about? That. You know what I'm saying? But you got to realize the mental, the institutionalized slavery, which was implemented through what? spiritual enslavement when they basically took your true and living almighty father which was in the beginning the, the image of you the black because yeah. in the beginning the first uh, human to walk the earth was a black look at it say hue man hues are what your earth tone dark color right man i ain't making this shit up you know what i'm saying you can go look this shit up for facts you know what i'm saying the first people that came on the earth was the black so basically by replacing that image of really who the true and living was because they say if it, if it is true in the scripture they said um, the father created us in his image and if we was basically looking like we are right now and he had to look like us and the Dang, black was the, the beginning fuck you think he looked like but they replaced that shit like we was talking about with the christ where everybody look up to mostly which is jesus christ how most people refer to him even who? though the real shit billy you know oh, what i'm saying billy, jesus christ billy, even though the real billy shit his H. name was yashua you know, and we also got into how there's two identities, Yahshua being black, the nigga, and Jesus Christ being the cracker, you know what I'm saying, which is second son of Pope Alexander, Caesar Bonger. When they replaced the black image with the white image, but who you think God is, now you always looking up to a cracker without even thinking subconsciously, it ain't nothing. You know, so you're just like, well, this is supposed to be God, it ain't about no color right now. Well, it don't say that in Revelation chapter one. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> I ain't what I read. They described Christ like his feet were stuck into a furnace. You know what I'm saying? Like it was burned bronze. You know what I'm saying? Dark color, man. Hair of wool. I see that shit every day when I look in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And my boy wasn't going getting a little cosmetic twist. He wasn't getting <laughs> a little twist at the thing. His shit was all nappied out. You know what I'm saying? Really Congo bongo lot out in the bush. You know what I'm saying? Big ass nappy beard wasn't cutting that shit. He was a Nazarite. Go look up the shit in Nazarene, the Nazarene vow, Numbers chapter 6. So yep. you got to realize, man, they replaced the image with the cracker, basically to put that white man over you. Now you got the fear implemented in you because you're supposed to fear God. You know what I'm saying? So this man is your God. And all these through the images, if you going to church, seeing that white shit all the time, hearing about all these stories, which nobody can contextualize. And they all sound like some fairy tale shit, which it really means symbols. But you can't explain this shit because you ain't got the real wisdom. Your ass uneducated. And you're teaching people from the traditions of Roman Catholicism, then that's when the spirit of foolishness and confusion come in. You confuse. When you confuse, you got a chance to get seized on some fuck shit. The enemy can come and yeah, seize you. You don't even know what's real. You don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? All the tradition and through your spiritual enslavement and your mental enslavement. That's how a mental and spiritual enslavement still exists to this day. You know what I'm saying? So they took the chains off physically and all that shit, but mentally and spiritually they got the shit on. And that's how we're going to show niggas how basically the main problem of what's going on, what we see is fear. You're being controlled through fear, propaganda, and shit like that. It's Real Vision, Grown Man, Real Nigga Shit TV. It's 813-254-7820. It's the cleanup campaign, man. I'm going to sweep you fault niggas under the rug. It's your highness, a.k.a. Nigga Killer. You already know what it be like, man. And you damn sure know me as Jay Jizzle, baby. I told you, a.k.a. Ingar. <laughs> yeah. Nigga. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't like to hear nigga. Nah. But you can't run from ourselves. We niggas. People are like, man, you nigga, you goddamn right I'm a nigga, bitch. That's the <laughs> shit. I'm telling you. You him. just trying to go from the angle of confusing me through the motherfucking cracker way of doing this shit, like a negative connotation. Yo, you're live on GMR and TV. Man, y'all got...
Hey, y'all got some of that right, man. But yo, look at game one. He says double binds being so stable in all the ways. Now, some of the stuff y'all saying in the Bible is true. But some of that stuff I disagree. But God bless you anyway. Uh, <laughs> appreciate it. More accurately, Rastafari bless you. Because you yeah. know, man, anybody can be God. Yeah. And a lot of people just say God, like we just supposed to know what you're talking about. You know, not talking about the dude that just called. Give thanks for the call. But anybody, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes I have to use that to make people, because I know it's a connotation of what people think of what is supposed to be God in the sky, whatever great being. That can be really anybody. You know what I'm saying? So you, you say God, you just talking about the same God that's on the back of that quarter that say in God we trust. Oh shit, I hope not. Or on the back of that Florida tag that say in God we trust. <laughs> Cause if it's them, he can kiss my ass. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit that, Royally. That's, that's the same shit that got niggas fucked up. Following after this God concept and not knowing what God is, first of all. Not yet who. Not just just what. Yeah, just what. What is that you know what i'm saying so a lot of people throw this shit around man but i know that's the best way people can relate to the highest power because that's what we was taught through institutionalized mental enslavement you know what i'm saying so like i said getting into the fact of why you got to ask yourself a few questions man why are they, all the people on the earth niggas look the dumbest <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you the truth i mean i'm looking at i'm i ain't ashamed to say this shit. i know myself you know what i'm saying so why do everybody niggas look the dumbest in the most fucked up position and like the poorest, you know what I'm saying, the, the conditions fucked up and we keeping up a lot of the fuck shit going yeah, on amongst keeping us. keeping the shit going. We can only blame ourselves. A lot of people want to look, oh man, it's the Crocker's fault. No, it no, ain't. No, it ain't. Because if you look at the great history way before European civilization, the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire and all those empires, the Africans had their civilizations way before that. Back in the ancient Tuahadu, the ancient Ethiopian Kemetic community. The Kushite Kingdom, Nubia Kingdom, the Great Moorish Kingdom, and so on, man. It's a bunch of kingdoms that went through that, but it was thousands thousand years reigning before the Crackers even thought about setting up shop. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. So you can look and see how the Moors even went up through Spain and educated the Europeans on how to fucking live, how to take showers, count, and do shit like that. Man, go look this shit up. <laughs> That's all I'm going to tell you. Don't take Don't our listen word. listen to him. Don't take our word. Go look this shit up to see for your goddamn self. So... And, and through this, you can see now, if we had it so good, you got to ask yourself, okay, man, if now, I wouldn't be mad if a cracker said, y'all had it so fucking good <laughs> with all your kingdoms, why the fuck are your niggas poor now? And you're out there in the jungle. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what they're going to say. They don't know that, but I can understand what they're saying because if we had it so good, how did a cracker come in and get you? That means it was our fault first. Yeah, so start them. examining yourself to see what the thought process is and see what's going on, man. Yo, you live on GMR Nest TV. It's Real Vision. Yo, man, this your boy H. What's up, homie? Yeah, what it do, H, man? man? Live in the flesh, man. What it is, folks? First off, it's season three. SIU, Negus, Negus, 1930 Division, King, Al Salafi, the source. After Yopaka, Tawakadu, ancient Africa. Y'all know what it is, my brother? Yeah, straight up, straight up on top, man. The real blackness, man. Hail the king. Of course, y'all know how it is. J. Jizzle, a.k.a. Nika. Yeah. <laughs> AKA the Nika Killer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, straight <laughs> up, man. Straight up. I know, man. It's like this. You know, in the school, right? They teach us cracking.